Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today uh, we are going to be doing a, uh, a trial on the sewing machine LU2860-7, a super extra heavy duty, a little bit long arm, double needle walking foot sewing machine made by Juki. Um, whenever you see dash seven, it's pretty much a fully automated uh, sewing machine. So this is double needle. The regular one, um, it would be 2810. This is 2860. And uh, 2860, uh, pretty much a new one that just came out. And uh, I'm gonna go over it. I'm gonna do the table side, the dimension. We're gonna run the machine. We're gonna see how it is done. And we'll take it from there. All right. So what I need first, that I forgot to bring in, let me turn on the machine. Whoop. All right, perfect. The machine is on a CP-1 AD control panel. CP-1 AD, not a CP-18. CP-1 AD, and let me get my tape measure. I'm gonna come right back. Here you go. All right, we're gonna do some dimension. This is set on a regular k -Lex. So no problem there. Table is as always 48 inch. Seems to be a little bit wider this one. Yes, seems to be that this is a little bit wider, I think. Um, usually I think it's 21, this is 24 inch. And the reason is because this is wider. The bed of the sewing machine, you know, all the way comes to 28, but if you wanted to do from one end to the neck is 19 and 14 inch from the, where the needle is to the neck. Uh, six inch or five and a, five and a half, five and a three quarter right here. The beauty, beauty. Let me open the, it's very hard to open. I mean, I'm gonna try it. Like, holy God. Look at that. That, that, this sound is, when you open the door, when you open this, will let you know that this is a, um, the door is open, so it doesn't matter. Uh, no oil pan. You have, this is semi-dry. The oil goes right here. That's all you need, and it's gonna be pumped up. It's gonna go, be running through here. We're gonna give you an oil that goes through here, and here the oil lever right here. Um, you have, uh, two, obviously, two, Ad adjustment on the thread guide, the uh, thread, uh, thread um, length, number one and number two, reverse. I'm gonna come this one back very slowly, make sure, and it's heavy, and it's heavy. And the reason you don't see this from, uh, on, in the regular uh, showroom that we usually do video because this is being shipped out to a local person and we're gonna ship it out to them. Okay, double needle walking foot machine, right here. This machine needs both electricity and air, and the air is the normal, you could, you don't need a huge, huge, huge tank or a compressor to do this, you could buy any compressor and do this, but, uh, All you have to do is take this, plug it in, let it go. Okay, one ten hundred ten volts, no problem. We turn the machine off. We're gonna turn it on again. Machine on, automatic bobbin winder right here. Um, look at this. How much this goes up? Holy God! Look at that. More than one inch. And then you see that here, the knee lifter, this pedal right here, look in the middle. This is when you want the middle foot to go up. Down, up, if you want both to go up, up. I'm using 69, 69 thread today. You could go up to um, 270 thread. It just, I did it. Here we have the foot tension right here. Here we have the mid, middle uh, foot, higher and lower level. We have bunch of memories here that you could do. 
uh, the tension of the bobbin right here, the needle, all of these things are written. Safety, uh, clutch, whenever you have a problem with going over something really heavy, heavy that might break the needle and might stop the machine, this would prevent the machine from, you know, getting, you know, um, um, out of timing, so it will lock itself. So then you press this and you play with this and it will come out. Again, CP180 full function. The machine originally come with CP18. The customer wanted a full function CP-180 and that's what we did. Uh, look at this monster rotary hooks and the bobbin, obviously top load. Look at this. Uh, it's not an M bobbin. I think it's called U bobbin. And um, look at all these thread cutter stations. Unbelievable. To the left, and obviously you have the same thing to the right. And all of these things that you see here is for um, putting a, all this hole for putting a folder, bias binder, and everything. All right, so here we go. Look at this. Beauty. And... We're gonna start. Look, this is going. And then whenever it stops, it goes by itself. This is bobbin one. And then we're gonna go back here and stop. Done. Back. Front. You don't see the front very good. It's because it's a very black. Um, and look at this, I have it on. So the machine could be different, ten, uh, different um, uh, gauge between the needles. Uh, it's three, uh, uh, both the needle, the needle moves, walks, the middle, the, look at the foot, the foot, the middle foot walks. And then you also have the feed dog underneath move. Now, if you want to stop somewhere, you could just put and go down. Adjustment from everything, you could adjust three ways to adjust each thread. And okay, now both of them are three, one of them are six, let's see. I'm gonna put both on six, right? Occasionally you get this tail, but it's all normal. And uh, a lot of people like this machine because it's bigger, super heavy duty bobbin, extra bobbin. And, oh, we didn't do the reverse. Let's do the reverse. You, see. you could do it from here. I'm gonna show from here. Do here. And also from here. So this one right here is um, is the middle foot. You could adjust the other way. And you see, I'm gonna, it came to one. Now, uh, let me just press. If I go down, you see, I don't know, you see coming up. You could have it always like this, okay? And then you have the needle down, come down. You see how much it stays up? Whenever it comes up, whenever you're sewing, you see it comes very high, the, the needle. If I do it the other way and try, it doesn't come all the way up. You see, you get the middle foot. I did it on number one, you just get this much, like, Barely, but if I go to six, when it come up, it's like it's jumping, right? So, so why is it like this? It's because you want to do this. 
See, it just goes over a bump. But if you don't want that, you could also, whenever you stop and you want to start, you're here, let me see. If you're down, you're down, when you want to start somewhere here, you could always have it up and then start. Right? So, look at that. 135 by 17 needle, double needle, walking foot 2860, great. 14 inch arm. Unbelievable. Look at that. This is David from goldstartool.com and as you saw this, this when we stop and it goes on, it stops by itself. A great sewing machine, LU2860, double needle, walking foot, 14 inch. Um, arm, bunch of memories right here that you could see what it is. Down, up, different needle up, needle down, you see? All of this thing from here, tension on the bobbin, uh, hook, uh, the um, stitch length right here, and this one I don't what, what I don't know what it is. We'll find out. There is a booklet. Oh, bunch of stuff. Come to the look at this. Again, needle 135 by 17. Come to the 23 uh, side needle. Some screwdriver. Some paperwork. Dust cover and all that. David from goldstartool.com. Thank you for watching.